and it is still dark outside as you can see. So right now it is Sunday morning. I was supposed to leave Monday morning for this shoot, but I got a call from the agency like four hours ago probably and they asked me if I could come in like basically like right now. So I am on a four and a half hour drive. I honestly really don't have that big of a problem driving. I got my Starbucks, I got my water, I got my snacks, I'm all good to go. I'm in the Gucci car, so we're all good. But you know, it is it is a long drive. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. This is one of my first times ever like traveling for work. So that's exciting. I'm still kind of new to all this. Hopefully next time I see you, there will be better lighting than my little car, <laughs> my car light. Um, yeah, we're cruising. We're going 100 miles an hour straight down the freeway, trying to get to Vegas ASAP. Gotta see those lights. Gotta experience Vegas. So it's like 6.30 a.m. now. The sun is finally coming up behind me. I'm so happy. It's been so boring just like driving in the like, dark this whole entire time. Maybe I should like have one hand on the wheel. Don't you think that would be smart? I'm like one hour away from Vegas probably. I'm like almost there. So I'm so excited. My coffee's running dangerously low. There's not a Starbucks in sight. So I might die. If I finish this ice latte before I get to another Starbucks. I'm actually like not that tired. Um, anytime I travel, I really just like get like super sonic, like always awake. I went to Paris like the beginning of this year and I literally stayed up for four days straight without sleeping. It was kind of insane, but I don't know. I just think that like whenever I go somewhere, I'm so excited. My adrenaline's pumping so hard. I just like don't want to, I don't want to miss it, you know, I don't want to miss out. So yeah, we're almost there. I'm excited. And such a great trip. Alright, so I just finished day one of the Samsung experience. I am really tired now and I just got to my hotel. I'm staying at the Rio, which I've never stayed at before, so that's kind of cool. But I'm gonna go drop my bag off in my room. My car is parked super illegally and I'm kind of nervous about it. Whoa. Anyway, um, I'm kind of totally nervous about it and I forgot that it was parked illegally until I just got up here and I've been checking in for probably like an hour. The whole checking in process was literally hilarious. Basically, since I'm under 21, I wasn't allowed to get my own room. So, I literally had to grab the male model from the shoot and pretend like he was my boyfriend, take him with me, and he had to use... Oh, I'm home. Oh my god, it literally reeks of weed in this room. Someone had a lit Saturday night, and I'm so jealous because I'm here for work. Oh my god, I think I can literally see my car from here. Wait, let's see if I'm getting towed. Am I getting towed? I see my car and it's okay. I see my car. This is at such an awkward angle, but basically my car is like parked on the sidewalk right there. That's my car. That's my car right there. Oh my. I literally don't have to be anywhere until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have a meeting with a modeling agency here in Las Vegas just to kind of switch it up a little bit. And then after that, I'm free till like 3.30. This is the best part about staying at a hotel. So I finally made it out of my hotel room and I literally have the rest of the night free. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to get pizza. I don't know if I want to go to Taco Bell. I don't know what I'm going to do. So right now I'm just like going to this mall over here. I'm just walking around trying to get a little bit of exercise in. I am in yoga pants. Um, I'm going to try to make it to the gym tonight too at my hotel. That might happen. 
probably won't happen, but you know, we're gonna put it out there. I don't know. I'm just kind of like aimlessly wandering and I feel like I'm gonna be doing that a lot this week. We're out here though, just, you know, casually walking to the mall after work. Day in the life. <laughs> All right, so it's officially day number two. Last night after I was kind of walking aimlessly, I just went into the fashion show mall. I did a little bit of shopping and I just went back to my hotel and chilled. Oh, oh my God. For the girls who wear eyelashes, don't you hate when like, they just make you cry for no reason. Yeah, so I just kind of chilled, had a relaxing night. I have some things I wanna do in Vegas, but I didn't really wanna like, go super hard on the first day and like you know get it all out of my system so i have four more nights i literally spent 6 p.m on just in that bed straight chilling so right now i'm headed downstairs to just kind of hang out at the starbucks maybe get a little bit done on my computer and then I'm actually leaving this hotel room and I'm going to an Airbnb. I'm definitely gonna miss this amazing view so much. I literally just like stared outside for like four hours or so. Good morning. Welcome to my office. That's how I feel. I feel like a super badass and I'm not gonna feel like a badass in like a Nevada home, but Hopefully it's comfy. I mean, I definitely feel like like I'm in a hotel by myself and it's a little bit boring, you know, it's a little boring. So, um, yeah, peace out to Rio. It's been real. So I've just kind of been hanging out, eating a little bit of lunch, waiting till 3.30 when I have to meet up with the agency and yeah. This has basically been my surroundings for the past day. Just biggest lifestyle, you know? So, let me just turn that light on. Um, basically, I'm a piece of shit driver and I totally messed up my car. And I had to get it towed because I like shredded my tire. So these are just the type of things that you have to be wary of when you travel alone because I, it's like 11 o'clock at night right now. I've been waiting for the tow truck for two and a half hours, almost three hours, and I have to be up tomorrow at 6 a.m. I have to try to figure out this car situation, get me a new tire. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my car struggles. Like, you know, I literally get in so many car accidents and so many tickets and I've had my car towed like literally like 10 times this year. Oh my god, I literally can't even believe this. Today was like the first day of the actual event that I was working at. Um, it was a lot of fun. The client is Samsung so they've been really gracious with everything, making sure I'm happy the whole time and it's been wonderful except for right now. It was so crazy. I got invited to like go to all these club events tonight, but I was like, you know what? Like your girl's gonna just go home. Oh my God, that's my car. What you getting, what you getting, what you getting? Also, I, okay, so like I was crying really hard, honestly, because I was really frustrated. And I think I look really good when I wear it, I don't know. Like I can't even, I only me. Alright, so I get to the tow place, the people are super nice, they're like, yeah, we're totally going to fix your tire, they, they get me a new tire, and they put it on, everything's awesome, I'm like, dope, everything's going to be fixed, right? So, they fix the tire, and I'm like, cool, I go to give them my debit card to pay, and they go, oh no, it's cash only. So, they say that there is a ATM, like, right up the street, and they said that if I gave them my ID, that they could like hold on to it and I could drive over there and go pull up some money and um, bring it back and pay for it. So I was like, yo, cool, here's my ID. I'll be literally right back. We can get this all done, all taken care of. And yeah, I can go home to my Airbnb and sleep because I have to be up in six hours. So I'm like, 
cool. So I go to the ATM and I grab my debit card and my little purse that I've been carrying this whole trip. Oh, and I had like my keys and like my phone and everything. So I was kind of like fumbling around a little bit. Now, when I was outside, like this dude was like trying to talk to me like, hey, hey babe, how's your night going? And I'm like, oh my God, literally my face is so swollen right now. I'm the size of Texas. I'm not cute. I get like flustered because you know, like I'm a little weak ass bitch. Like I get nervous, like I, you know. So I go into the AMPM and like I was like, okay, so I'll do like cash back. And I pick up a bag of Lay's and then they have like a sign on the actual credit card machine that says no cash back. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, man, I was like, do you have an ATM? And he goes, yeah, we actually do right behind you, right over there. And I'm like, cool. So I go back over to the ATM machine and um, I go to pull my debit card out of my purse. And it's not there. Well, I'm like, no, like my card's in here somewhere. So I'm like looking through like all the little pockets and I'm like, uh, I start looking in like my jacket pockets. I'm wearing like sweatpants and looking in those pockets and like, it's gotta be here somewhere, right? Like it, <laughs> it has to be here somewhere. I just had it. So I run back out to my car and I unlock it and I'm like looking through and like it's not on my seat, it's not on my cup holder. So at this point, I literally just start crying. I like, okay, so what I think happened was when I was walking in, I think that that guy who was flirting with me, when I got flustered and I started like fumbling with my stuff, I think that I might have dropped my card and I think that he picked it up. I don't know. I don't mean to like make an accusation against that guy, but he was creepy and I wouldn't put it against a creepy guy to steal my card. So I went back and I was like, yo, I was like, I can be here tomorrow. I'll pay you. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I literally think that they just like wanted to get me off their back. So they're just like, okay, like we'll see you tomorrow. So as a part of this Vegas trip, I'm working with CES, which I guess is like a huge electronics like convention thing where all the CEOs from all the different electronic companies meet and do business. So that is where I'm at right now. I got my little my little badge and I'm just kind of walking around. I literally don't know any of this stuff, but there's a lot of new like products and artificial intelligence and all that stuff. So I don't know. I don't know about all that, but it's interesting checking out all this stuff. Los Angeles, San Diego. Anyway, I am on my way home. I've been driving for like... Continue straight for 20... Um, yeah, I've been driving for like four hours now. I'm like just about home. So I am going to close out this vlog and this video and just say that traveling by yourself is really hard, but it is a part of the job and you have to be able to be quick on your feet and show up the next morning with a smile on your face at 6 a.m. If, if that's what they want, which I did. And I'm glad I got to see some of the technology that was at the actual convention because it was really cool, especially that huge wall of TVs. It was really interesting um, to see like where the future is going. And I know that Samsung has a lot of cool products coming out that I was able to represent. A lot of fun. Wish me luck on this drive home. We all know I'm gonna need it with my luck with cars. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Mwah.